Welcome little scientists, it's Miss Gisa, and today's story is called A Monarch Butterfly's Life, written and illustrated by John Himmelman. On a hot July day, a young monarch butterfly in Virginia begins a journey north. On her way, she lays many eggs. Her last egg is laid on a milkweed plant in Connecticut. Three days later, a monarch larva or caterpillar hatches. The caterpillar feeds on milkweed leaves. When a wasp tries to lay eggs on the caterpillar, she brushes it away. Soon the caterpillar crawls to the ground. She attaches herself to a fence with a bit of silk. Her skin hardens and she becomes a chrysalis. Two weeks later, the monarch reappears. Now she is a butterfly. The monarch butterfly stretches her crumpled wings and makes her very first flight. She lands on a milkweed and uses her proboscis to sip nectar from the flowers. Suddenly, a net snatches the monarch butterfly. The child who caught her sets her free. The monarch butterfly's days are spent flying, sipping nectar, and resting in the sun. In late September, the monarch butterfly begins a long journey south. As she travels, she is joined by many other monarchs. They are all heading south. By November, she has reached Texas. A gust of wind blows her into a lake. After resting for a minute, the monarch butterfly breaks free of the water. In early December, she reaches Mexico. She has traveled more than 2,000 miles. Millions of other monarchs have made a long trip too. The weather is perfect. It's not too hot and it's not too cold. By the middle of March, it is very hot. The monarch butterfly flies north. A male monarch finds her and dances in circles in the air. She chooses him for a mate. She lays hundreds of eggs on her journey north. She lays her last egg on a milkweed plant in South Carolina. She will not live long enough to return to Connecticut. But on a warm August afternoon, her offspring does. Let's go do an activity together. Okay, so let's get creative and make a life cycle of a butterfly out of pasta. Now, if you don't have pasta, you can use lentils, a bean, um, anything around the house that kind of looks like the four stages of the butterfly life cycle. I'll show you how I did it with pasta, and then you can get creative. And don't forget to tag at Butterfly Garden Preschool if you're gonna put it on Instagram, or send it to me at my email, gsa at butterflygardenpreschool.com. All right, so if you'd like, you can use the sheet that I included in your activity packet for this week, but you could also do this just on regular paper or construction paper. Um, first, we start with the egg, and I'm gonna use this little Ditalini pasta to be my egg, it's teeny tiny. And then you can glue that right on. Now, the next thing that happens is out of that egg crawls a little caterpillar. So I'm gonna use like my little corkscrew pasta, my fusellini, to be my caterpillar. So the egg changes into a caterpillar and then the caterpillar hangs upside down and becomes a chrysalis. And during that stage, that's where the big change happens. And can you say metamorphosis? Yes. So that's what happens in this stage, metamorphosis, which means it changes into a butterfly.
wow. All right, don't forget to show me how you ended up doing yours. And remember to subscribe to our channel and also hit that like button.